Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen from YRMC. Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen. I'm your host, Rita Carey Rubin. And we're at the Prescott Community Gardens today, enjoying summer's harvest with lots of our local cicadas and Patty and Delicato, who's an avid gardener and one of the members of the, the Community Garden Board. Patty, thanks for inviting us here today. Our pleasure. Yeah, Our thanks pleasure. For, for sharing some of your favorite summer recipes. Well, thank you. Yeah. Some things we enjoy. I'm so. excited. <laughs> so, um, so I've been coming down to the garden this year. I rented a bed and, and I just love being here. It's, it's um, peaceful, it's a little gem you know, just alongside the, the Granite Creek Trail, mm -hmm. the north end of Granite Street. And we're only a couple blocks from the Courthouse Square. Yeah. Yeah. And well, how, how did you discover this place and, and become involved? Uh, when my husband and I re uh, retired here, we, um, I was a big gardener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I also had a program uh, where I worked with Growing White Plains with uh, teenagers and after school children. And all the produce there went into the food pantry. And so when I came here, I joined the, the church that, um, and we had a Just Faith program. And I said to the women, one thing I wanted to do was do uh, some gardens for uh, the Center for Compassionate Justice. And uh, they all said yes, and I was thrilled. Yeah. So we have four beds over in this area, and all that produce goes into CCJ. We have a spring, summer, and fall garden Wonderful. Um, that we operate for and them. And how many years ago did you start that? Two years ago. Yeah. I've been on the board, and I'm in charge of the education and all the programming, uh, which ties into my recreation uh, degree, which I got from college, and I, uh, 17 years I worked in that field, stayed home with my children, and then worked in the school and had the other job. And you came out here and just jumped right in. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. That's who I am. <laughs> well, how does the community garden work, and how do people, other people become involved? Okay. Once we get the names, either from our outreach or we see people or people express interest, we direct them to go to our website, mm -hmm. which is prescottcommunitygardens.org. Um, and can anybody just go there? If yes, they you can. To rent a bit? Oh, okay. oh, oh, yes. Okay. Prescott and you'll get Garden. the uh, specifics. Then my job is uh, also with the um, board is I meet all the gardeners um, and I talk about the garden. Uh, we are an organic garden. So we do organic products, uh, but with your $60 fee, you have irrigation. So you've got watering every day and you have use of tools. Right. Um, and we have compost um, and we have a lot of programs. Yeah. Uh, but the thing that I impress upon the most is please close the gates. Yes. There was an issue <laughs> oh, before oh. I came <laughs> that somebody forgot and the javelinas just oh, ate everything. Yeah. So close the gates. Everybody. So I think I impressed upon them because the new gardeners have been great. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> So somebody rents a plot for $60 a year that mm -hmm. includes water, compost, seeds, I think, sometimes. Yes, tools. yeah, we have. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a great deal. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. So all you have to do is come down here and weed, uh, plant, weed, and harvest. Wonderful. <laughs> what a great deal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, so um, so what are we making here today? Uh, two things. Uh, mm -hmm. One is uh, something that my mother always uh, made for us, very refreshing uh, summer treat. We take cucumbers, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to peel them, and then we're going to use our mandolin to make them very, very thin. Okay. And then we're going to do a combination of vinegar and sugar. All right, well, let's get started. All right. Yeah, I'll let you peel, okay. and um, and then I'll, uh, I'll use the mandolin to slice. And you could also use that peeler to thinly slice it, right? Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, if you don't have a mandolin, um, right. No worries, just use a vegetable peeler. But mandolins are really nice for making thin slices of vegetables. Oh. It's um, got a really sharp blade, um, but really easy to use. Just have to be careful. Make sure your fingers don't come anywhere near that blade. So there is a guard that we use. And you put the vegetable under the guard and use the guard to slide the vegetable back and forth. So um, just safety. You want to be careful not to, not to hurt yourself. So I'll show you how it works just like this. And uh, I've used this to, gosh, just slice all sorts of vegetables. Um, it's really good for making zucchini noodles. And, uh, and anything that you want sliced just really thinly. And so now if somebody doesn't have a mandolin, they can use a vegetable peeler. Absolutely, you right? peel it first. You, yep. you take the peels off. These go in the compost bin. Yes. But then the peel, you just peel in the back of it all the way down. You see nice and thin. Uh -huh. um, how yeah. nice and thin the um, cucumber is peeled. 
So I understand that Colleen Sorensen um, founded the garden in 2011. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Well, we caught up with Colleen earlier today, and, and she told us how that all came about. So let's take a look. Well, hi, Colleen. Good morning. Thank you for inviting us to the garden today with our all of our local cicadas, <laughs> and it's a gorgeous day, and, and wow, the harvest. There's, the garden's gorgeous right now. Yeah, we've had so much rain. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's been a yeah. good year. Well, tell me, um, what was your motivation for creating a community garden? Well, I was thinking about doing a master's degree, mm -hmm. and I visited some friends that live in Seattle. Yeah. And we were walking through industrial Seattle, just walking through downtown, and we turned the corner, and there was this amazing community garden. Just, you could tell it had been there for 25 years. There were full-growth palm trees and rose bushes, and I thought, wow, we need that in Prescott. You know, wouldn't that be wonderful to turn the corner and find this? So that was my motivation, and I was thinking about doing a master's program, and I found at um, NAU, the Sustainable Communities Department, offered a way that I could do that. So that's what I decided to do. So the garden became, um, you know, part of your inspiration was to create this as part of your master's degree or your master's thesis? It did. It did. With yeah. a focus on, I mean, the plan was to make it a platform for teaching the community about sustainability, about how to grow food in this, I mean, this is a challenging place, can be, to grow sure food, is. how to grow your own food, mm -hmm. and then kind of how to how to learn how to live more sustainably. Mm -hmm. That's so, wonderful, and, and yeah. rely more on local food. Right. Yeah, and, right. and one, how wonderful to grow your own. Right, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. So wonderful. Well, how, so that was in 2011, right? That was in was like 2008, 2008, and it took when you did a couple degree. years okay. to get it going. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. and then it started in 2011. We, we opened okay. in 2011. Yeah, well, how has the garden grown and changed over the years and you know what kind of relationships have you developed within the community that's been the thing that's been most beautiful about yeah. this garden is building relationships with different groups Prescott College being one you know launch pad with the teenagers in town YRMC you know sure. these different um, the over the hill gang has done a lot of work you can see how beautiful the garden looks right yeah, now that's because those guys have really cleaned <laughs> it up for us yeah. yeah it's you know Alta Vista Garden Club there have been all these all these groups, master gardeners. So it's been this really intense relationship building, which has been super great. Yeah, and what a gorgeous place to do it. No kidding. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much again for inviting us here and yeah. um, and okay. sharing your vision and creating this beautiful space. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> place for people to gather and yeah. dig in the dirt and grow some healthy food. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, it's been great. Yay! Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. Sure. So, um, so those are small pieces. I should probably cut these into smaller yes. slices as well, huh? So another way you could use that mandolin is to put the cucumber on its yes. The, the fat another end. way is doing it yeah. this way. Yeah. Yeah. And get those smaller pieces. What do you What do you do for the dressing? Pad? Two ingredients: yeah, uh, vinegar and sugar. Wow, does, uh, it doesn't get easier than that. Oh boy, and it's <laughs> it'll be it's so refreshing. Well, so go ahead. So what, right. what, what, do we, what do we have here? Um, I'm afraid I can't tell you how much sugar or how much vinegar because it's a balance. Yeah. But we'll start with a, uh, about a half a cap of the vinegar. Okay. And that's just, I, I brought a white balsamic vinegar, but do you have, um, I'm going to grab a towel here. Do you have a preference for what you use at home? My preference is a white. A white. Um, okay. Yeah. And then we're going to put a little sugar. Just a couple pinches. Mm -hmm. And then mix it up. Well, is that easy or what? It really is. And yeah. then you taste and see if it needs to be a little bit more tart or sweet. Uh huh. These cucumbers from the garden are just amazing. Need a little bit more vinegar. Yeah. And there's some options. I just brought some plain table sugar. And then um, lots of times at home I use coconut sugar, mm. which is... It's really sweet and rich, but it um, has a little bit lower glycemic index, so mm -hmm. it doesn't spike blood sugars um, a whole lot. But you've just got, I mean, there's like a sprinkle. It's its not much sugar at all no. in a salad. No. And I imagine as that sits and gets oh, in the refrigerator and it gets cold. When it marinates, oh, and yeah. get cold, oh. And, and how, how 
would you eat it? Just plain, or would you put it on something? We always put it on as a side dish. Yeah. Uh, but my mother would put this in the back of her refrigerator, just keep adding stuff to it. Oh. We had it all summer long. Oh, wonderful. It was wonderful. Yeah, yes. my mom did something like that. Yes. We put onions in ours, too. You said that. Yeah, wow. it was good. It would and, be very uh, good. There's, I also have some dill. Would that go in there? Sure. Should we, sure. Should we dill snip goes good a little bit in there? Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to add some herbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just going to use a little bit. This, um, I picked this up from my um, community supported agriculture share yesterday from uh, Whipstone Farm. Oh, nice. And um, I got two big bunches. And uh, I'm not probably going to use all of this um, before it goes bad. So I just uh, throw this right in the freezer. Yeah. Have you done that? Yes, we have with herbs. Yes. yes. And just, boy, it's just like it's fresh. You pick it out of the freezer and snip it into whatever you're making. It's a, it's a great way to preserve that the summer flavor of dill. So you have this great great way to use up all those cucumbers that Absolutely. are in the garden. And and then you have another idea for using up all the zucchini mm -hmm. that's in the garden right now. And I made this ahead of time. But tell us about this. This is your recipe. Well, it's actually, it. uh, I mentioned that I worked with uh, Growing My Plains in New right. York. And we would bring the produce to the food pantry at 7 o'clock in the morning on a Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, but we um, have ShopRite, which is like Safeway or Fry's, and they hired a nutritionist. So I asked her if she would come up with a recipe, and she came up with this, a nice healthy recipe, uh, because we would bring in a lot of different types of um, vegetables. Yeah. So um, lots of zucchini at some point. Oh, definitely. Oh, right. definitely. Yeah. So, so using um, it up. She, uh, this is a, uh, something that you bake. Uh, you toss it with um, uh, d just cheese and breadcrumbs and then uh, bake it and that's your dish yeah but Easy. It's, it's very uh nice dish yeah you know i i didn't put the breadcrumbs in this one oh, okay um i forgot it <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out good anyway um yeah and all i did is i sliced uh, the zucchini just um like a half inch quarter an inch yeah you can right see. Mm -hmm. and toss it with the oil and then i put mm. cheese i also threw in some fresh oregano because mm. i have it just it's like going gangbusters in the yes, garden yes, right now. Yes, yes, we have some over here. Yeah, and um, and the baked it at, at 350. Yes. Um, I think about 20 minutes, and then I put it under the broiler a little to brown the, mm -hmm, the cheese. Mm -hmm. And uh, use some nice. Uh, this is just some fresh Romano cheese, oh. which I just love. Oh, we do too. Right, but you could also use Parmesan. Right. Or mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know any hard cheese, I imagine. Right. And then I also have because. Um, um, there's a lot of folks that don't eat dairy. This is a great product. It's um, it's called Follow Your Heart, and it's uh, dairy-free Parmesan. Oh, nice. And it's really good. I mean, I've tried a lot of the dairy-free stuff over the years, and, and sometimes it's not so great. Right. But um, this one's really good, and it, and it melts, so it would just taste lovely with the zucchini. Oh. Yeah, so an easy way to prepare the abundance of the garden. Right. Thank you for sharing that recipe. My pleasure. Well, tell me a little bit more about what, so what have you grown this year? So I do a lot of string beans. I do the basil for my husband, and I do a lot of flowers. I'm a big. Uh, I love to do flowers because they attract the bees and butterflies. They do. Right. Uh, and then, even when I was in New York, we like to bring the flowers to the ladies at the uh, um, the older women, and they all, oh, my mother would grow these flowers where I got. They were really appreciative oh, that's about really it. Nice. So it, it, it met many needs yeah, in the garden. Yeah, sure. Well, what? really well here. I mean, this is full sun. Yes, so it's full what have, sun. So what have you found over the last couple of years? People grow well? lots of things. We see lots of flowers, of course. People grow corn, uh, tomatoes. Uh, there's Ooh. some beautiful amaranth back there. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. And yeah. I, actually, most of these um, sunflowers were volunteers. Is that right? Oh, be, you see them around oh, town. Sure. Yeah. They're all volunteers. They weren't planted. You know who planted it? Yeah. The birds on the, the birds wind. Right, right. <laughs> Wonderful. And, well, and the season was right for them. It was. It was a good year. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> nothing like eating a tomato or a cucumber from the garden. There's nothing. 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 nothing well, like thank it. you. Thank you so much for inviting us here. We really appreciate your time and, and our ability to share all this. Thank you, and thank everybody. you, Rita. Yeah, thanks for the recipes. Oh, you're and, welcome. Um, so, how do people again get involved? How do they rent a bed? And also, tell us you have some events coming up you wanted to share. I do. Thank yeah. you. Uh, to get involved, they go on our website, uh, PrescottCommunityGardens.org, uh -huh. and you uh, you'll find information there about the uh, what we do and how to sign up for a garden for next year. Uh, we do uh, as a board. 
um, a variety of events. We had a soil amendment day early on. We had a basil fest in June. And our last event here is a big event. It's our Harvest Festival. It's going to be September 29th. It's an annual event. Uh, we do a, a lot of children's programs. We do pumpkin rolling. We do scavenger hunts. We're having face painting. We'll have music. We'll have the Master Gardeners here doing uh, Ask the Master Gardener. And that was very popular last year with the adults. Um, and food. Oh, there and food. food. <laughs> We're going to have a big um, uh, ha a harvest uh, soup. Oh, wonderful. From and the garden. Fr yeah, we're going to okay. throw in zucchinis, tomatoes, carrots, and all the <laughs> fun stuff that's in the garden. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. So for Patty's recipe for the cucumber salad and the baked zucchini rounds, just go to YRMCHealthConnect.org and scroll down the page to your healthy kitchen. And while you're there, check out all the videos that we have and the recipes, um, all, all readily available. Just pull them up on your screen. And also, you can follow me on Facebook, and where I post all the time about what I'm making at home and garden tips and things going on in the community. And I get insider ideas, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, until then, plant something, eat well, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.